Así queda acordado. In a rare emergency session on a weekend before New Year's, Russia summoned the UN Security Council Saturday night to lay blame for the attacks on Belgorod, not only on Ukraine, but also on the West. We have heard reports that the UK and American consultants took direct part in organizing this terrorist attack, and they regularly encouraged the Ukrainian government to carry out bloody crimes. Responsibility for these crimes is also borne by EU countries, which directly and irresponsibly continue to supply the Ukrainian ruling elite with weapons. The Russian ambassador held up a QR code in the Security Council chambers. On it, these pictures of what he called a terrorist attack perpetrated by Ukraine that killed more than a dozen people, including children. But just 24 hours earlier, it was Russia who launched massive coordinated missile attacks on Ukraine that killed over two dozen people. The UN said it cannot verify claims of how many people were killed in recent attacks but called for de-escalation on all sides. We inequivocally condemn all attacks on cities, towns and villages in Ukraine and in the Russian Federation. Attacks against civilians and civilian infrastructure violates international humanitarian law are unacceptable and must end now. Ukraine's representative didn't directly mention the Belgorod strikes, but continued to say Russia needs to end the war. Once Russia's bloody war is over, there will be no more human suffering, no more civilian casualties in Europe, and no more reason for further Security Council meetings on this issue. In the past three months, Israel's war on Gaza has taken up a lot of the energy and focus of the Security Council. But as the year winds to a close, it's clear that the war between Russia and Ukraine will likely play prominently on the Security Council's agenda in the year ahead. Gabriel Ozondo, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations in New York. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.